Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. We're going to talk about this panel here, which is a simplex panel, and it has a couple more features than the uh, other simplex panel. This is an LPDDT, which stands for dosing timer, and you'll see this little uh, timer right here. So this panel is a simplex panel. Uh, the <clears throat> only thing different with this is it doses what you're trying to dose. So in certain situations, where let's say you have uh, a lot of churches or facilities that are only used once or twice a week, they'll have a smaller septic system because they don't need you know 1,500 gallons a day treatment, but they'll have tanks in front of them so that they can then dose the uh, 500 gallon a day treatment system or whatever it is at a, at a specific rate. So um, we have a we have a video on the dosing timer as well. Basically, how these work is that let's say I have this set, you have uh, hours on and then off hours. So right now this is set for on for one hour, off for two hours. Now, if I do that, I just changed it. Now it's on for right now and it's on for one hour. Now you'll notice that the light is not on. So in order for it to engage, the float still has to be in the on position. So. Uh, we get some questions where people say, well, is it going to run no matter what? No, that's not the case. So the float has to be engaged, and then it will uh, dose it for a set amount of time. Now, this is on hours. You would probably never do that. Usually it's an hour off, and then it's you know 30 seconds on because you're trying to dose it uh, 500 gallons or 750 gallons or something of that nature uh, where you have an on-off period. So when the, if, it, if it dosed for that long, this would go down and your light would go off. So if this isn't up, that means there's not enough water in there. So it doesn't need to dose at that time. So then it would dose the next cycle. So, but it's generally timed for that. Now, you can have an aerobic panel set up like this. This is just a simplex. So you'd have this panel up front with a bunch of tanks and you'd have your aerobic panel somewhere else. Um, this is a simplex panel. It has an override float switch too. So let's say this isn't set for the right time or you have a high influx of water and you don't want the water coming out of the tank. So this override float switch, no matter what, if I turn this off, let's see if I can do this. Okay, so it's off now. So even when this comes up, you can see that the light's not on. But let's say it's off and the water's you know filling up in the tank and you, you know, you're gonna have a high water event. Generally, you'd have an alarm before that but you'll have this override float. This will kick on and it'll, it'll override the system. It bypasses the timer and what it does is it'll make sure that the tank doesn't overflow and it'll do the tank. You'll have, a, you'll have an alarm event, which is important because then you know, okay, my system is not uh, dosing how it should because you shouldn't have an alarm event if it's timed correctly. And it might need, you know, somebody might need to come out and, and fiddle with it. Um, <clears throat> so that it, it's dosing enough so you don't have an alarm event. Alarm events are common. On, on dosing panels, generally you're on a, a drip system or some kind of gravelless system where you're dosing and you don't want to overload the soil. So that's why you have a dosing uh, timer on there. Another thing is you have a demand pump so you can turn this on um, and you can, you know, now you're in demand and uh, you're overriding the timer and you can test your pump so you don't have to wait for it. So that's what that feature is for. This is a 120 volt panel. Uh, the dosing timer, we can go on a little bit of it. Of it. How they really work is, you, let's say you have a half horsepower pump and in one minute you look on your performance curve, it'll do 100 gallons in a minute. And you think, well, 100 gallons in a minute, if it pumps five times, that's 500 gallons. So I don't want it to pump that much. Uh, I need it to pump 25 gallons a minute every time. So then you set your timer and you can set these here for minutes, seconds, all, you, all kinds of things. There's so many different combinations you can do on this panel. And you would say, okay, I want it to do 25 seconds and you can, you can even change these numbers here too. So with this screw here. Um, I want it to pump for 25 seconds every two hours. And that'll give me, you know, uh, 25 gallons or whatever. I mean, that math's not correct on a 100 gallon pump, but uh, that would be 50 gallons. So then you're, th then you've now moved it up. It'll have to do 10 cycles in order to pump that much. So you do want even less. You don't want like 10, you'd want like 12 seconds in order to accomplish that for that type of pump. Every pump is different. So you'd have to know. 
But that just goes a little bit into what this timer function is. It's different than a clock timer for an aerobic panel. Uh, those keep track of the day. This is set for exact minutes and seconds uh, or hours or half hours. There's, there's a lot of different combinations you can do on this type of timer. So that's a simplex dosing panel. Uh, those, are, those are a pretty common panel as well. And uh, they're, they're not that, that expensive, but it, it's when you need more control or, or something like that where these timers come in, where the other panel that we went over uh, in a different video, this simplex here is just on demand. Put, the float comes up, the pump's gonna pump until the float goes down. There's nothing stopping it. So I uh, hope that explains a lot. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, we'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Or you can just call the office and we can answer your questions. That's basically it. Hope you guys have a great day.